is happening. YouTube, Larry Ethan here representing Formula Golf and representing La Cala Golf Resort and Spa in Mija, Andalusia, Spain, where I am currently at working with my coach and working with all the guys here to prepare me best for the final two events of the season. I need to play well in the, the final regular uh, season event to get into the grand final. And then from there, I'll probably need to win if I want to get a challenge to a card, but I'm going to give it everything I have 100%. And things that I'm working on to get that point is basically working on getting myself mentally prepared to hit every single shot the way I need it to be hit. So by that, what that entails is having a constant pre-shot routine, uh, really getting yourself into the mode. A lot of what Patrick Cantley has done recently has inspired me into working more on my mental game and how I go about preparing for each and every single shot. So today will be nine holes on the Acer course out here, one of three great golf courses out here at Bacala, and I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, hopefully I get it all taken care of and shoot the goal of three under par for this nine holes. Let's go, guys. Okay, so hole one here on Asia course is a short hole, 349 yards. I think they hit my five wood here. You know, you could hit iron on this hole, but uh, depending on the wind, you kind of want to be a, a little bit farther down. It looks very narrow, and it can be if you're spraying it, but uh, overall it's a pretty easy tee shot. It kind of funnels to the middle of the fairway. So that whole pre-shot routine took 25.3 seconds. This next shot here is 96 yards, I believe. It plays a little bit up. I think it's plus four. And I actually have a, a lob wedge here. It's not what I typically recommend doing is hitting full shots, but there's a big slope just short of this pin here, and if you end up trying to flight something low and you can maybe catch that slope and go down. So this thing was going a little bit right but I do know there's a slope in uh, 25.9 seconds so pretty close to the same as the first shot so that's good. So I actually landed well past this one and it spun back off of this slope so now I leave myself a little bit of a breaker from about 25 feet or so. Not a good putt here, pulled it, and just did not hit it, so not the best. 19.7 seconds pre-shot routine. And just a par. So hole two here is 292 yards up the hill. Um, I do normally go for this green, but it's uh, actually a decently windy today uh, coming into, and it's very narrow up there. So I just got a, a little six iron here, just gonna get it into play. The pin is in the back. Another reason why I didn't want to go for it is because I would not be able to reach the very back part of the green. Twenty-five point seven seconds. So I am looking good when it comes to, you know, unconsciously taking the same amount of time to hit these shots which is really important which is the the whole point of my practice this practice session for the day got 122 yards up the hill into the wind I got a pitching wedge gonna try to flight it back right pin this one was just overdone I think I was aiming a little bit too far to the right, so I just naturally pulled it. 27.1 seconds. We got about a 30, 30 footer here. I did like this stroke, just misread it. 19.2 seconds, very similar to the first putt I had. Probably like three feet, but, you know, don't want to take these for granted. Yeah, I barely made it, but it's in 17.8 seconds. Got 116 yards down the hill here. Plays minus 18, and the pin is front right. 
And with the way the wind is kind of blowing, it was like in and off the right a little bit. And so I'm trying to chip a 54 degree to kind of make sure I keep the spin down so it doesn't go sailing away in the wind. As you can see, really beautiful views out there at La Cala. So this one was hit well, 24 seconds. But it landed on the other side of the slope here and just kind of fell down the slope. Really hard to get it to that level. So I end up by leaving myself about a 35 footer. Good aggressive stroke. Very consistent uh, timing for the most part. And a little tap in, just take the par and move on. And so now to the hardest tee shot on this side, hole four, it's 380 yards uh, into the wind. Very narrow, very scary. This one was hit nicely down the left side. 26.6 seconds. I left myself with a 99 yard shot. I got my 54 degree again, but the ball is well below my feet. And it's actually a shot that I struggle with because I, I come pretty far to the inside uh, with my wedges at times. And these, these are the kind of shots that are pretty difficult for me when I'm doing that. And the result is kind of like to leave it out. So that thing was just pushed off to the right, caught the right edge of the green, got myself about a 23 footer here. But you know, when I'm putting well, these putts are a lot more makeable. Um, you know, just kind of trusting the line and the stroke. This was a very good putt. And it goes in. So, one under after four, I uh, got another five to go to reach the goal, 17 seconds, let's keep it going. Special thanks to La Cala. this was the Asia course. If you ever find yourself in Andalusia, Spain, be sure to play. Always remember, keep on grinding.